All right. I don't know what I have done to my camera. It's got these things. I don't have to look that up. I'll look that up. I'll put this on. So I am on my way to get my hair touched up. So I just, I hope she don't be like, bitch, you're trying it. Sorry, girl, you're trying it. Because I, um, I got my hair. These are knotless braids, you know, knotless braids. You're not really supposed to keep them all that, that long. It's been four weeks. I want to touch up. But I think because it's been four weeks, I really need to get another set of braids. And I would absolutely do another set of braids if I had time today. But last week I got in a wreck and missed the um, book club happy hour. So I have to be home by six. Well, before six, because I don't want to, to miss another one. So got to do that. Um, I'm going to give t away two prizes. If you guys didn't know, I do have a book club. We read different types of books every month. For May, we're reading The Couple Next Door. It had a lot of great reviews. I typically only like to pick books or typically like to pick books that, um, have an audible version that's also why my hair is looking like this right now but i need to stop at chick-fil-a and get a little breakfast they're not gonna let me take it in the salon the first time i went there i could eat my food while i was in there this time no so i guess it's because they're really trying to keep us with our masks on which is fine because one time i was in there i didn't see that i haven't seen that girl again i don't know if she left the salon but she was like she don't believe covid is real and i'm like oh, girl like come on anyway so book club tonight i got a last appointment at three o'clock now i just scheduled my last appointment yesterday my last check be canceling sometimes or just not be in there but i just got my eyelashes done on monday my appointment was originally last saturday she rescheduled me to monday okay whatever i go in monday and my eyelashes on this left eye i don't know what's up with my left eye but the eyelashes on the left eye are not staying this eye is fine so hopefully that appointment's only like 30 minutes and then i'll have time i need to go by target i want to pick up a new game to play with the girls tonight um on the the zoom thing <sighs> I'm tired. I was up late last night, so I got a new computer, and I love it. Um, I was teaching myself how to use After Effects, so that's how I made my new intro. And I'm working with these different little transitions and stuff. I want everything to kind of go together, so I've been trying to figure that out. I just want to... I want to step it up like I'm trying to play catch up with the girls who have been doing YouTube for years just vlogging and I've always wanted to and every time I start I haven't seen it through and I don't want that to be the case anymore because I'm ready to be 100% self-employed and I'm not there yet and unfortunately for me my expenses keep going up it's like five years ago what I make outside of um, my job now, five years ago, is more than that. I think I said that right. Y'all get what I'm saying. I had my friend in the car with me, and he was helping me with some stuff. Y'all, do you know once we got back to my house and got that big-ass box, I ended up having to get it? Because he sat down and fell asleep just like almost instantly but I was it wasn't heavy or anything then he when he woke up he was like how'd you get that box in here I said I got it and he was like why didn't you wake me up <sighs> I don't have time for all of that I don't want to be waking you up you move slow like whatever you're tired sleep it's not that big of a deal I mean if I couldn't do it I wouldn't have but I could so no biggie um <laughs> why is a chick-fil-a line always so long and then they have the people outside who are trying to like help move the line along but they give you so much pressure like you don't even get to see the menu i don't come to chick-fil-a every day i don't know their menu backwards and forwards like some of these chick-fil-a chicks do 
I love this water bottle. I got it on Amazon. It's got like the little times on it. Who is honking? Uh, okay, so let me try and order something from here and no need to ramble because the battery doesn't last long, but I do have my, uh, I have two extra batteries in my purse. The one that was still in the camera was dead. I didn't realize that. Oops, my bad. Y'all, I look so crazy right now. Um, so crazy. So the place is in the West End. Where I'm going, my arms hurt so bad. Let's see what happens. All right. Guess I should turn the air down so you can hear. I can't. It's like, do I not have any eyelashes? I have an eyelash appointment coming up. And um, when I was in the place, where, where did my little, I still got some hash browns, I'm hungry. Um, I was in the place getting my hair braided. And um, I was watching YouTube videos. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was watching my fave. Um, and some of the other girls. Or f followed some other new girls like some girls that have a following and then i went and followed some other youtube girls who are new and they don't have a lot of subscribers and they're just getting started um someone followed them i was watching a couple of vlogs just seeing what the girls are up to you know and i just love watching i love when i find somebody who is just getting started kind of like me I already have followers, but that's because most of y'all came here from cocktails. Or, you know, whatever. But somebody who's just getting started with, like, their online presence, I like to watch their journey. And when people are consistent, I really like that. I was thinking about uh, maybe reaching out because I'm fully vaxxed now. I'm out here. I was thinking about maybe reaching out to some of the smaller YouTube channels, vloggers, if I like your vlogs and stuff, and feel like, you know, had it not been for the internet, if we met in real life, we would really kick it. I was thinking about reaching out to some different people, um, just see if they wanted to collaborate and do a video. I don't know. We could do the same stuff I normally do. I'm just going to be talking to myself. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all think that would be cool? If y'all know somebody who would be good, leave a comment. Um, and I was like browsing just random YouTube videos of trying to see what the girls be up to. But I think the problem is a lot of people are not just like you want to be at home. And it's like, if you're doing too much, you can't have your camera, so you can't really vlog it. And then it's like, when are you going to edit? When are you going to post? So you kind of need to be home to where you can have those breaks. It's just hard. But, and I do just popped in my head. Maybe this is what I'll try for this week. Because I've got a lot of content filmed. I don't know how good it is. <laughs> we'll see. If I was up to like 12.30, I have four videos completely edited at this point. One of them was posted today when I'm filming this. One of them is scheduled to be posted tomorrow. And then the other one exported, but it exported while I was asleep. So I haven't uploaded that. So I'm going to schedule that for Monday. I got a whole bunch of other stuff. Like I honestly have enough content to do daily mini vlogs. They're going to be short, but it could be daily for like a couple of weeks. Um, and then I'm filming again. So, anyway, I was thinking maybe 
just now maybe I could set it up like or just as I'm coming up with ideas do it like a reality show like they have to plan those scenes out it's not really just the camera crew shows up and we're just gonna ride along with you for the day you know so maybe I could plan out some things to do specifically for that but I don't know what um, I think tomorrow I might go to my aunt's house. I'm going to hit her up and see. Mm. I think a girl's night would be good. Or just a girl's day. I don't know. Because you know I'm old. I was thinking maybe I could call Lex and Drea and see if they want to go out. And do something on Sunday if I don't go to my aunt's. What is going on over there? I know it's a black Israelites. Let's see what they're talking about. They got on those purple shirts with the um, fringe at the bottom. Somebody's got some sort of menorah type thing at the bottom. I'm trying to see if I can hear them. I can't hear. Oh. She's back now. What's going on? All right now. So anyway, I was thinking I could do it like that. My camera's probably going to overheat soon. Um but yeah, I'm going to work on my ideas, think about it, and then I'll turn the camera back on later and let it cool off. Hey, good morning. Um, so I just got up, took a shower, and I need to get ready for the day. So something I have been noticing about my vlogs, and I guess this just goes into planning better. I need to say like, hello. <laughs> You know, it's like I'm starting the vlogs. They just start and they kind of end. There's been no real start stop. So like I said, I'm working on it anyway. So today I think I like the daily vlogs and then I need to start and end my day. Um, and then that way, if I put multiple days in one vlog or just upload it, you know, it will just, it won't just be like, all right, here's some music in the end and this fly ass picture I took. So today, um, you guys, I am, I need to clean up. It's a mess in here. I stayed up late last night, later than I definitely should have. So I need to get dressed. I need to take my allergy medicine because I have been extremely stuffy. I'm gonna take a suit of bed too. Cause um, whoo, um, today I am going to have a picnic with some friends of mine. So. I want to see if I can find like a cheap picnic basket. I guess I can look on the Target app or Walmart. Um, I want to get a picnic basket and I want to bring some stuff. So definitely need wine and snacks, but it's Sunday. You can't buy wine until 1230. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up, probably make some coffee. I think I have some coffee. That's another thing I need to get. I should make a list. So I just remembered that someone had brought this huge bottle of Stella Rosa over one day when we were supposed to be chit-chatting and everything, but I will drink Stella Rosa. It's too sweet. It's like a sparkling wine juice, but I'm pretty sure that some of the girls there drink it. So I'm gonna bring it, cause it's just been sitting here collecting dust since last summer. Do you see how that text just stopped me dead in my tracks? And no, well y'all probably know it was not from a man, it was from my homegirl. And this may sound, I don't know, hypocritical, contradictory. Another word that's got more than two syllables. I don't know. But when it comes to like, 
internet dramas. I do not understand why certain people are constantly inserting themselves in it. And I don't want this part to come off shady, but sometimes I feel like, do you have any real friends? Do you have anything going on in your real life? If you do focus on that, is it like you need validation from people on the internet? Is that why people carry on and keep up mess online? Because I don't understand. I really don't. Um, I stay out of it, but I said it could sound hypocritical because I definitely will, uh, well, I'll be, hit the group chat and we can talk about it there but it's just like to do it online is a thing people love to go back and pull up old Instagram posts old Facebook posts old pictures old tweets old all this kind of stuff and it's like when you keep up mess on the internet especially when you're inserting yourself into other people's stuff you're gonna forget about that later somebody gonna find that and who really wants to deal with that not I anyway I'm out of coffee I want to show y'all something and hopefully my friend comes by soon so I can show you in greater detail. Okay, but you know how he's saying, I got to refill my water bottle. So I've been using this. This is some, I don't know, but my friend brings it over. He, um, he has this new water company and it's like filtered. So, you know, like, like in office building, sometimes they have the, the water coolers and they have that big plastic thing and the, the guys come. So he does like super filtered alkaline water. Honestly, y'all, this might sound dumb. I don't know what none of that stuff means, but I'll buy the expensive water. Uh, sometimes it does taste a little crispier. I mean, I like it. It's cool. But he told me it has all these benefits for your skin and all this stuff. He got some other beauty water that he gave me to spray on my face. I obviously haven't been using it because I've been having breakouts, but whatever. Anyway, so I'm almost done with that. I've been still buying water because I don't know how many gallons that is. It seems like it's probably two or three gallons. And he brought two of those over here. And I'm like, I got to drink a gallon a day. So I'll just be refilling my little thing. But it's good water. I'm going to ask him, you know, when he's ready to ship and stuff. And whenever it is, I'll let y'all know. Maybe he'll be doing local deliveries in Atlanta. Okay, so I love this marinade. It's Brazilian Steakhouse from grill mates it's quick and easy you just add red wine vinegar water and oil so i could not find like an actual picnic basket what i ended up getting was um and i'll show y'all this other like you can take it to the beach or whatever it's like a cooler but it's not like a hard cooler so i don't think you're supposed to dump ice in there i think it's just an insulated bag because they had some where you can't put the ice in there but i was like how often am i gonna use this because they get pricey um, I got some bigger Tupperware containers because I'm going to do a watermelon salad. Well, I was going to do an actual salad, but I think what I'm going to do is just do wedges and place the wedges, but I'm not sure. Um, oh, I'm going to bake some cookies real quick too. That only takes like 15 minutes. Let me go ahead and turn the oven on. My plan is, y'all don't tell them. I mean, they'll see the video if they watch, but I'm making these cookies. These cookies are so good. So good. So I'm just going to make these for them. I got some of these little non bread dippers and then I got the bagel, toasted garlic, I think. Yeah, toasted garlic bagel chips. These are good with the cheeses or with the hummus. I got some more cherries. So I need to rinse my fruit off and put it in containers. Um, so I bought the watermelon in the little wedges like this. So I was like, I could cut them into smaller ones. Or I could just cube it up. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. How cute is this? This is a cooler backpack. So I'm gonna put all my, like the wine bottles and glasses in here and other wine stuff and some waters, like some sparkling waters and whatever bevies. I'm gonna put in sauces and stuff. I don't know if I'll have any sauces, but I'm gonna put stuff that needs to stand upright basically in this backpack. And then there's another cooler at the bottom. More water. Everybody is like saying all the drinks that they brought and I'm just like, who brought food? Like you need food and this wasn't even my idea. So I'm anxious to see how this is gonna go. I also have some different cheeses. So I went to Publix and I went to Target. So I got feta for the salad. I wanted to do a watermelon, mint and feta salad, but they didn't have any fresh mint. So I bought basil instead. It's still good with basil. I just prefer mint. Um, I've got some little Gouda slices. Havarti cheese slices, some 
pepper coated salami slices. I needed everything to already be sliced, so I'm not cutting stuff up. The only thing that's not sliced is the brie. I got this little party tray of cheeses. I have several charcuterie boards, so I think that I will bring them so that I can lay them out. I didn't buy any nuts or any like pickled things, so I'm just gonna see what I have in there and bring that. I'm not buying shit else. Oh, sorry, anything else. Okay, I should stop throwing away all these bags. Let me put them to the side in case I need them. So Target has these like super cheap everyday room essentials. I guess this is stuff for the college girls, but I'm using it. These bowls were 50 cents. They're just little plastic bowls. I just think they look cuter than little paper bowls. And you know, I can just put it in my little picnic basket. So when I'm going places, this is stuff where if, if it falls, a dog sees it, attacks it, whatever gets fucked up if I forget it or I just don't feel like carrying stuff back. I'm not going to be upset about leaving this behind. They were 50 cents. And these were $3. So I got two of these. I'm thinking maybe I will go ahead and make the salad so I can put the salad. We'll like cut up the watermelon so I can do that. I'm also going to bring those fresh strawberries that I picked with me. Not all of them, but most of them and then freeze the rest. And then the ones that I freeze, I can use those for when me and Walker make ice cream. So I need to wash these, so I'll put these over by the sink. I also got like a little platter, and that was $3 too. Okay, these are eggs. I don't need the eggs right now. In here. Get that right here. Ooh, I want this right now. Hi, shoes. These candies are so good. And I also got some Sour Patch Kids. I don't know why I'm showing y'all this like y'all care, but I'm gonna show y'all. These Island Fruit Welch's uh, fruit snacks, good little snack, and I needed more coffee. So I did end up going to the Target Starbucks and getting some coffee while I was out because I was dragging. I'll refill that later. I'm also charging my battery, so I did remember. I think I'm getting into the swing of it. Um, let's see, what's this? Okay, so this is the shrimp that I'm gonna cook. Luckily, shrimp doesn't take long. So once I get everything out, I'm gonna wash my hands, make the marinade, let the shrimp sit in there in the refrigerator. And then by the time I finish the other stuff, I can cook the shrimp because I think that's the only hot food item I'm bringing besides the cookies. And I'll be good to go. Okay, let's see. Oh, so I bought these natural ice things. It's an ice substitute. I wonder how long this takes to freeze. It don't say, so let me go ahead and pop these in here. I bought two sheets of these. This is what it looks like. This came from Target, it was like three bucks. Which should probably be good for the one where you're not supposed to have water because this will come out. And they're reusable. I also have some other like frozen ice pack things in there. So. I got two bottles of rose wine, nothing special from Target. One is the collection, the other one is, I forget. But I put them in the freezer, that was the first thing I did. Oh, I also got, I love the watermelon Red Bulls. I know that they're full of sugar and I really need to not, but I'm used. Okay. I got some plastic forks, knives, and spoons because you always need those. I'm not bringing my stuff out there. Um, let's see. So I bought some shrimp at Target too. They were frozen, still frozen. I'm just gonna put these in the freezer because I was like, I don't wanna, this is taking longer than I expected. Some hummus, definitely bringing the hummus. Some brie. I love the supremely spicy hummus. That's my favorite. This is just some butter that I got for just to have. Okay, then we got, the platter from Target that I had set some stuff on. I just wanted to look cute. Um, some saran wrap. I'm gonna pack that with me because you know how bugs can be. And I needed some more sugar-free um, coffee syrup. I also stopped by Ulta because it's right there. And I got this kit. I've always used the drying lotion, but I've never used this buffering thing or this, uh, the buffering lotion or the drying cream. I don't even know if y'all can see that. But I'm gonna try it, we'll see. I'm bringing games too. They was asking, oh, and then I got some more water. Um, they were asking me like, about, well, not just me, but everybody in the group chat. Like, hey, does anybody have a portable speaker? And I'm like, why do we need a portable speaker? 
But I've been forgetting. People love to listen to music all the time. And I like to listen to it sometimes. But sometimes it's just like, I don't need no music. You know how many thoughts are going on in my head? And then I was thinking, y'all not about to flag my vlog. All that music in the background. All right. So this one was 20 or $25, this cooler. So yeah, I'll set this over here. So my timer just went off for the cookies. When I tell y'all, you don't need to add nothing to this marinade, no salt, nothing. So it's a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of oil. I just use um, regular oil. I didn't use this olive oil this time. And a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Then you're gonna mix the packet in. I'm gonna whisk this together and then put these shrimp in the oven. I mean, not the oven. In the refrigerator to marinate real quick. You don't wanna leave shrimp to marinate for too long because, well, depending on what you're marinating it in, something about the sign is on it. I am cooking the shrimp now in my favorite pan. guys it is time for the picnic i didn't even bother putting on my makeup i was going to but it's just like it's hot outside i hope y'all can hear me over this ac because but right now i can't even turn that down 
Okay, so I am heading to. Oh, my nails broke. My nail tech has left Atlanta, or she is leaving Atlanta at the end of the month, but she's booked up for the rest of the month. I'm so sad about it. I wish she would have some cancellations, but I highly doubt that she will. So I gotta find somebody new to do my nails. Oh well. It is what it is. Anyway, so I am on my way to be my work. I wanted to get super cute, but I don't even want to tell y'all how late I am. I am not the only one that's late. And I knew that about this group. There's one person who will probably be on time. She was, everybody was late. But when, when I realized the girls weren't trying to bring no food, I said, oh no, honey. We gonna need some food, baby. If if Kiki gonna be there, I'm gonna need some food. Throw some tweezers in here. Y'all, this is so gross, but I am so hairy. Like, I be having hair all over my face. And I just wanna squeeze it out real quick. I might just stop at CVS because I need to get cash anyway because I think I'm going to have to pay for parking. So we'll just go to this CVS. Oh. Or uh, Walgreens. Alright. There's a guy here and he's playing music. I love that song. This nail is upsetting me. Well, I guess I'll fix my face when I get to the things. I don't want to get too much. Okay, so let's talk about what is going on this week while we ride down to the park. I need to find a drive through ATM because this is so lazy. There's one right there, but it's just so hot. Like, I have my little cart and I need it. Okay, so this week, uh, we're going back to the studio. We are recording two regular episodes and a bonus. We need to knock out two bonuses. So last time we went to the studio, only I did a bonus. And then Medina did hers um, solo. So I want to do another bonus in the studio, but I don't mind letting her record hers first, um, her idea of the DMs. I need to come up with something else to record and talk about um yeah so need to think about that we've already ironed out the next three episodes so we know what we're gonna talk about um i have one weird sex story so i need to find another weird sex story um i have been working on learning after effects so After Effects is a program in the Adobe Creative uh, Creative Software group of program. So there's like Audition, which is for audio editing, Premiere, which is what I use to edit the videos, videos for cocktails and videos for just my YouTube. I know how to do Final Cut and I know some people like Final Cut. That's actually what I learned on in college was Final Cut Express, Final Cut 10, whatever it was called, Final Cut Pro. Yeah. Um, but then I got into Adobe, so I've just gotten so used to Adobe. There's a lot of things that are really similar, but it's still like some other stuff. And the thing is, what I like about Adobe, um, because a lot of the things to me are equal. What I like is as the software updates, you pay a subscription fee every month instead of spending like four or five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars on one program that will be good for a while. And then they'll have a couple of updates that you can download. And then it's like, OK, the new version is out. So then you have to buy a whole new version. I pay like fifty six ninety nine, something like that a month. And I can use all of the programs and it'll always be up to date. Now, sometimes they do have issues, but everything is going to have issues the way I see it. So, like, I don't really that really bother me too too much um 
I think that people have less issues with Final Cut and I keep telling myself I'm gonna work with Final Cut, but I don't know. Now that I've learned After Effects, I don't know what is comparable in Final Cut and I really wanna be able to do extra stuff. Like I've been enjoying learning how to make these little templates, like my new, so I made that one intro video. First I used Canva, because I was like, I just need something simple and to the point. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's a little basic. You know, it's cute. Shout out to the girls who's using that and everything. I get it. Um, but I just wanted to pop more. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do within the video. Because y'all like, y'all probably sitting there like, you want your intro to pop. But girl, you ain't doing nothing in the video. Well, I'm trying to figure it out. So, anyway. Um, I, I'm just trying to figure all this stuff out. So, I don't think I will be making a switch to Final Cut. I said I was. I downloaded it. It gave me like a 90-day free trial or something, which is a good free trial instead of like three days or two days or two hours or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I have been learning After Effects. So, I want to figure out. I want to change the transitions in cocktails and make it look better. That's just going to take some time. So... We're recording two episodes this week, and then we record again next week. So, hopefully this week I'll go ahead and knock out episodes, the two episodes pretty quickly so I can spend my weekend, like, working on the other stuff. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll just see. But I'm hoping that I can think of something creative to do with our transitions I want to come up with something more creative for Indecisive Diane because I don't like it um the way it looks and I haven't been able to figure anything out like I'm glad that it's not just audio like it was because a lot of time ago I was like oh well you know we can't really afford to pay someone to animate but I'm the queen of just because I ain't got it right now we're gonna improvise and we're gonna figure it out until we can do more so one day I was like you know what why don't you just when you record it record it on your phone and make a memoji that's an animation and you can customize your memoji and that's how we came up with the visual for Indecisive Diane which it's weird because there is a video from our live show when Medina dressed up as Indecisive Diane, but Indecisive Diane don't look like that no more. So I don't know. I guess she got some work done in a new week or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, I want it to be a little bit more, but it's like a 30 second segment. I just don't see myself learning how to do animation for that short of a segment because what I was picturing is like indecisive stay in and then like some sort of visual with the restaurant or something but that's a lot of work um I for that small thing like I would like it but it's just like the man hours that go into it and what I pay myself to edit the episodes it's a no um and then for my segment, Weird Sex, um, I want to do something different with it, too, as far as the visual. Like, the transition that intros it, most definitely. But just even the visual of the thing. I thought about doing it like the news. I have, like, a news break lower third or something. I don't know. If you guys have some creative ideas, send them to me. You could either comment them here or send them to me. Now, these are free ideas. I'm, I can't pay anybody for that. That's not in my budget. Uh, but, yeah. So, just trying to come up with ways to be more creative, make the visual more appealing. We're in the studio, which is what the people wanted. And I do think that the episodes have been better. Those two that we did were better than being apart. But I'm just like, we really got to... My whole thing is, and something that maybe people don't consider, going to the studio and doing all of that is... Like, people are like, you know, you got to invest in yourself. I've been doing this show for over five years. And so, at, for me, at some point, it's like, Okay, people love to say invest in yourself, but you don't put your money in a money pit, you know? So it's like if if 
things are slowing down, we've got to figure out, okay, what are some things that we can do that maybe don't cost money? What could we try harder at? What could we work harder at? So when people throw ideas like, oh, you should do this and this and this, and I'm like, all this shit costs money. We need to get to the basics because the basics is what brought people in. And it's like, we need to, to me, we have got to focus on the content of the show and delivering excellent content. People going to stay with you and everything and all the other stuff is a bonus. But you can have everything else looking right. But if the content ain't there, don't nobody care how good your set looks or any of that. My camera might cut off because it's hot. But um, nobody cares about any of that, you know? So... I don't know. I've just been focusing on that. But it's like, okay, we've been doing our meetings. So I feel like that is helping our content. Now I say, okay, the visual, like, let's have some little props in there. Let's try some different things out. That's another way to make some money product placement. Um, just different little things. And like, what can I do on the editing end to like step it up? Um, I tried doing it like we only have one camera, but I tried to like zoom in and zoom out. Some people like it, some people don't. But I wanted to try it and just see like what we could do. Then let's see what else. Um. Uh. I don't know, but that's it for cocktails. And then oh, and we're working on something new to sell. So, hopefully, um, we get those details ironed out. I gave us a deadline at the end of the month. So, hopefully, we can reach that goal. Um, and then, what else? Uh... I'm really having trouble with my thoughts. Okay, so I'm down here at Midtown. People are out and about. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Um, <sighs> so stuffy, like. I tried those strawberries that I got from the strawberry farm. Y'all, they are so good. But I, I feel like they're even better and I can't even taste it because, you know, when you can't smell and stuff, it's bad. Like, I could taste it, but it was like, it was so flavorful, but I could still tell it was needed. Because then I ate those shrimp. Well, I just had one. So I bought that bag of ice and didn't even bring it because it was like, I don't have nowhere to put it. I should have went ahead and just got the regular cooler instead of these cute little fruity bags. But whatever. Um, okay, so that. Then at work, um, I need to have a talk with my team at work because, well, I don't really have a team, but the rest of administration because, um, like, I feel like we could just be working more efficiently. And I would like to see that happen. So, we gonna see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, come on now. Don't be having me block the crosswalk. Somebody, I wish y'all could, could y'all see them people on the motorcycle right there? Y'all see them? Look at them. Ooh. Okay, I never found an ATM. Good luck to me. Um, what's I gonna say? I don't remember. The boys are out, okay? And they be looking good, but you gotta remember this area over here where I'm at is a neighborhood, so you know. Don't even waste your time, sis. Don't even waste your time. Why do people who drive like Yukon and Suburbans and stuff think that they get to drive in the middle of the road, like straddling lanes? That is not cool. Okay, so I'm getting down here. I'm going to park over here. So one girl was at the northernmost part of Piedmont Park where the welcome gates are and stuff. And the other friend went to park tavern and park but i'm like girl who goes to the north side of the park everybody always come to 10th and monroe 
I don't know why she did that, but I sure hope I can find a park a park on the street. I probably can't, but we're just gonna see because you know people do leave. It's not impossible. I am so stuffy. I really want a popsicle. All right, sure. Let's see, is anyone getting in their vehicles? Nope, we're just chilling because it's Sunday. Got it, got it. There's lots of people out today. I think I want to come back next week and do another picnic some other friends or maybe not next week next week is Memorial Day yeah. so my friend said that we can have a crawfish boil at his house and I'm really looking forward to it why are they screaming at each other none of my business ooh hello y'all ever seen an older gentleman probably late 40s early 50s who obviously still works out. He's not vegan. He definitely eats steak, but he eats like, not chicken fried steak, but like a nice cut of steak. And he has salt and pepper beard, probably more salt than pepper, but it just works for him. Ooh. Or maybe it looks like pepper, cause like pepper be having little white pieces in the air. That man was looking good. He was in his Jeep with the doors off. What's that a Jeep? Child, he was so fine. He turned that Jeep into a Range Rover. I mean, that Range Rover into a Jeep. I didn't even notice the range. Oops. All right, so I've made it to Piedmont Park and I'm about to call my friends to see exactly where they are. Like they showed me, but, and I'm looking at how people are parking. It's like, obviously there's a gap here for a reason. Why would you park right there, but whatever. So let's see. Let me face on Ashi because she's the one who will answer. So I have all this stuff and I didn't want to carry it, but it's going to be hard to get out of these rocks. I did not think this through very well. Found my friends and I actually got great parking because they are basically immediately down the hill from where I parked. Even with my little grocery cart, so I gotta take two trips. I probably could have put one more thing on there, but whatevs. They got a little baby hookah. I'm gonna pass on the hookah. Today and some wine, and you know what's funny? I pulled out that sweet wine for them and it's been chilling all day. And I left it at the house. Oops, my bad. But there's, some, when I walk down the hill, I'll show y'all. But there's like so many people parking at Piedmont Park. They have like, they have places to park, but it's easiest if you come to Park Tavern, you pay $10 and then you get $5 off at Park Tavern, the bar. That hill is kind of steep and I have a slide, so I'm gonna walk around, but look at all the people. Oh my God, did y'all hear that lady? She's like, oh, I'm dead. I took mushrooms last night. So what? Go break out of the circle. So we got some hummus, the cheese. I made a yeah, watermelon and bread salad. I'll be honest. I picked some cherries, the shrimp that I love so much. Mm -hmm. Drink. The girls. So this should be a nice day. It is very hot, very sunny. I'm ready to eat. We have a little baby. Out here in the sun, having a nice game of poultry. Okay, bags. this is what we said. Frenchy. <laughs> oh. I gotta look at I was like, I gotta look at <laughs> That's your ass, <laughs> Oh, uh, this is what we say when well, we like in a ratchet situation. We'll try to get them. Yes. 
damn funny. Woo child. <laughs> <laughs> you got that one quick. Can you just put the hand mark in over the so we don't see it? Oh. Um what we oh, doing yeah, right no. now. Oh, over outside. here. Outside. Over here. Oh. What was it? Who says that? Oh, I'm sorry. That's me. Out here living. I like that. Okay, one. this is what we say when folks be doing a most on Instagram. And they be like, She could have kept that. Years. No. Kept no. got a K. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> she could. She could. You would she like chased the cloud. person to prevent from doing this, like halt at doing this. Stop ah. cloud chasing. Yes, I, I knew it had cloud in there. <laughs> but I promise that this okay. strap is real, bitch. This is a City Girl song. City Girl. This is what she said. When oh, you thought. Oh, you. Oh, you thought I. It's a different team. Okay. So you but, oh, you tried it. Oh. I saw it with the buzz. So, so far, I didn't start the timer. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Well, go smile. It was doing good. I'm going to start the timer now. Sorry, y'all. Oh. Okay. Here okay. Go. This is when folks not minding their business. They need to stay in your lane. Yeah, I don't know lane. how this goes. <laughs> you doing great. It don't matter. Give it to me. In the air. <laughs> <laughs> I want my <laughs> Okay, this is the Drake no, no. song. Oh. oh, what? A Drake song? Yeah. Drake? Well, you don't, yeah, when well, you don't want to. Hey, new act. friends. Damn, I was about to. I was coming. I was like, I didn't no. even process what she said, Jim. <laughs> I was like, no. Okay, this is when you want to make sure that. Woo! Stop the bullshit. You wanna um, make sure that everything is in line. Set that Stop. bitch up. What? Stop the beat. Stop the everything beach. Everything is together. What? You wanna make sure this is safe. Oh, stable. No. You wanna make sure it's safe. I want this, to make sure you it make is. You wanna make sure this is safe, so you can be great. What? So you can be successful. You wanna do Set this. It. You wanna make sure this is safe. Set it. It's an action. Okay. I want to make this is safe. Can I get some feta cheese? Slap that bitch. No. That's well, not safe. Well, we got the bitch out the room. Oh, bitch. <laughs> what was it? Secure the bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Way. Okay, this is like when I want you to tell me what happened. Tell Start me. Fuck that titty. Start. <laughs> what? No. Whoa. Bitch. What was it? Start. Uh, Say it. I want you to tell me what's going on. Like, what happened? Start. It's juicy. Give it to me. Sip the tea. Sip the tea. Sip it. Sip it. Sip the tea. Sip the tea, bitch. Okay. I said share the story. I don't know why I said that. Share the story. Uh, yeah, you needed an S, man. This is the viral video saying. All right, we done. Sorry to this man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I don't know that man. That was uh, Kiki the girl. Paul. She was a girl. She was yeah. like, I could see that man walking down the street and I wouldn't even know him. Sorry to these men. The song shit. Yeah. yeah. I personally liked that video. It was hilarious. All right. You mixing it up, are you? You know all I'm gonna be. You said what? I had a real life panic attack. I had a blackout. You know, I just blacked out one time. Girl. <laughs> we were like, the tree was right here, the car was right here. Uh uh. She over here. And she over here. I'm telling you, it's cool. I was asleep. He was asleep. What was in the back seat? Simone was asleep. What was in the back seat? I was asleep too, but. Ah, clear. I was like, no, I was asleep too, but I was the driver. <laughs> Like, girl. No, like it's alright, we've been there before. We what? <laughs> we were supposed to sleep in Savannah anyway. Y'all anyway. were driving back from Savannah? Yeah. Wait. Yes. Wait. Amber, Wait. Amber had pulled me to the side. That's a done. boring ride. You gonna fall asleep. We was drunk oh, as fuck. We why were y'all in Savannah to begin with? So why the fuck like Amber ain't what her name? Amber. Amber. Why she ain't drive? Who was Amber? She was crushing on Pat that night. It was. Yes. 
she would have been straight. She would have been straight. I felt like I had kind of. I'm just like, she's in love with my home. But he went flirting back with her, so she wasn't distracted. And then our homeboys kept on saying, like, I don't need to drive. Yeah. And she was like, I don't need to drive. And so they were just like, y'all can say it. I had already made plans. I ain't going to the house. Hey, y'all doing? 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 Hey, I know about Yummy Brothers. Yummy Brothers. Like on What's that? What's that? What is that? What is it? Weren't they on Shark Tank? I don't know. I ain't cookies. Are they cookies? Oh, okay. Uh, you got what flavors now? Yeah, peanut butter chocolate chip. Peanut butter chocolate chip. Yeah, lemon white chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate chip. That's pretty bad. Chocolate chip, double dark chocolate. Uh-huh. Sound like chocolate. How much is your peanut butter and chocolate chip? $20, $3, reason why it's $20, here's one of them. $20. $20. Damn. You only take cash? Yeah, I got to go. I pay, I, I get, I get oh, a bag okay. of peanut oh, butter chocolate. Okay. You only take cash? I got Apple Pay. I had a 20 here. I did a market. Chocolate chips. What kind you want? I don't know what kind of it was. He said chocolate chip, peanut butter, peanut mystery, butter chocolate. Some kind of lemon. Lemon white chocolate. Oh, let's lemon do lemon white, white chocolate. chocolate. Okay. And then I want chocolate chip. Chocolate chip for me and lemon white chocolate. No. I should have brought my fan. I know, that's right. You gotta have a square. Okay, now I need to pay. I know, we did give up on the tent. We did, I told y'all we could have went back at it. It's enough people here now. Because in my head, I'm like, I'm going to talk to you. Okay. Or that. I just sent you your receipt. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Y'all oh, made this? You guys? Oh. Sure. Sure. I'm vlogging for YouTube. Y'all want to say about something about y'all's cookies? Yeah. I highly recommend No? Yes? No? Yes? Can we get the picture first? Yeah. <laughs> you want us to hold it? Business first, madam. Business first, man. You probably want to you probably want to take it from this way so the sun hits us. <laughs> so stand on this side. Stand on this okay. side. So it'll oh, face this way. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Do we come closer or something? I don't know. Okay. We just got some cookies from the boys. Some old things that. But these don't feel like cookies. They feel like cookie mix. Is it mix? I kind of think I just got got for twenty dollars. Oh my god, it was twenty dollars. No, it's definitely really pretty cookies. These are gorgeous. Let I me know. see. Mine mushed up. Oh, they do look really pretty. Eagle Eye Sports, Eagle Eye Sports is a part of Yummy Brothers. So these look amazing. Them. Oh, guys, who was Yummy Brothers? It's, it's just my, a my old boss's kid. Okay. I love to support the children. Oh, yeah. That's how they get you every time. And you mm -hmm. know what he said? He said, I know they're $20 because it's double. What did he say? He I said, don't know he what he said. said. It was like about the gourmet. He said gourmet is the and word that he used. <laughs> oh. And then he said something about, like, prepare it with love or, like, something like that. So I know. That's right. He's a kid. So it's like, here, get your $20 to give me some cookies. That is high as fuck for some these, cookies. These cookies look pretty. Y'all, when I was little, I, really, I used to I make cookies care. from Mrs. Fields. I give them to me. And um, I would sell them for $5. Them little bitty-ass cookies. $5? Mm-hmm. $5. Those ain't your bag. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
And I also see Pina Mike. That's why he be saying I be picking. My friends over here. My friend, you drink it. You eating the dirty ice, I eat the dirty ice. We die together, bitch. Exactly. We ride together. Exactly. 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 I have an allergy. It's so crazy how you held it in. That's a lot of wind your body creates. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> it's just some winds can be like up to like 40 miles an hour in your body. That's really? Far. Or fast. That's super I'm fast when you sound of your body. <laughs> I'm like, hey, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, <how> you <laughs> you, oh, I had a I'm phone. Good. <laughs> Shit, it's big. <laughs> you got your thigh wet? Ooh. Man, this dude sent me a video of me fucking him, mm. and I always say this. <laughs> That's the only day that was left. <sighs> Look how pretty it is outside. Oh, you can't see. I wonder if it'll focus on that. No. My eyes, so blurry. So we'll see what happens um, when I get home. If I feel okay, are the housewives of Potomac back yet? In the way? No. <sighs> of Potomac back. <laughs> They're coming back, They're coming but that no. it's probably next right one. Now what's going on is um, 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 Married to Medicine. Oh, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, yes. But they let them cross over. They only stagger the black shows. Just started like a week or two ago. Mm-hmm. It's good. They keep up, man. The last season actually was really good. It really was. It's been getting better and better. You know what she got me watching? What? Jocelyn's Bitch, who you coughing at? When she said that, I was like, who coughs at somebody? No, the bitch Dog. was trying to be funny. Oh, she was? She was. Oh. That was so funny. She was. Her whole attitude is like, I'm always trying to be like, stay with reality TV and stop talking. Well, I love you. Okay. And do it like it's my business. I love it like it's my business. Okay, look, look, look. She got the number one country in America, okay? Did y'all see her on Wendy Williams? Yes. Miss Wendy, you need to put some respect on my name. You do this to all the Latino girls, all the black girls. Your husband not beating you no more. You're not in an abusive relationship. You should be happy. You should not be being negative. She don't. She kept it together. Her voice didn't get deeper or nothing. She kept it real, you know, normal. She was really monotone. No, and then Wendy was like, she was like, give me my flowers, Miss Wendy, give me my flowers. Wendy took a crop flower and threw it at her. Here's your flowers. Can we get the shoe can, please? And she took it off her foot and was like, here you go. I love, I love Jocelyn. I do love Jocelyn. Oh, it is? And her costumes are flawless. I see the niche. Everything. I am I am satisfied with everything she wears. We have like five things. How many devices can be lost? I wanna see it too. I wanna see it too. Oh my lord. I don't know. Is it good? Why? How big were the titties? But why did she do that? And she what? I'm not watching. Stop playing. Roly poly snack meals? You got into it with Yoda. Give me a chance too. Did you watch the, um, I don't know if I'm a promise you that. I'm not doing it. Okay. I went to the premiere last week. Uh huh. I am going to do that. They was in there arguing and carrying on. Yes, it was like, it was very ghetto. Um, it was like we sitting in the play on the floor. Her ass drunk on the floor. She ain't even had her turn for the photo shoot yet. I mean, I know what it's like sometimes when you don't feel like being there and you just be drunk at work at a photo shoot or something. But 
Well, I'm just like, damn, Judy, all the time. Uh huh. They was fighting over makeup. <laughs> the makeup artist. I know. I know you're one of the uglier girls in the house, so you need full glam. I just need a touch up. And it's just like. I was like, this is escalating quickly. For no reason. Okay, and why are y'all not paying? Who watches Married to Medicine? Me. Okay, did you see how Anissa didn't pay the makeup artist in D.C.? Why? No. So Toya was giving her financial advice. It's like, if you got to take financial advice from Toya, then what the hell are you doing? Toya. She got issues. Yeah, so she can recognize, like, nah, girl. So anyway, she um, she was like, you don't get out of somebody's chair without paying. She was like, it's not like I was going to leave D.C. and not pay her. When you get your makeup done. Uh, the, the Indian woman. Yeah. I remember. Yes, 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 yes. I remember. Yeah, so apparently she had been paying her bills, and then she's been saying she's a blogger, she's a blogger. So I was like, let me go look at her Instagram. So she got a decent amount of followers right now. It's not that much. It's like 60K. Her likes... She be getting less likes than mine, and I got like half the followers, and you on TV. And then it's like, she on the last episode, she was talking to Lisa Nicole about wearing some of her outfits like on Instagram and doing a sponsored post, and then she did a video like trying on the stuff. She gave her a quote of like, somewhere around the two to $600 range. And I'm like, excuse me, bitch, what? That's it? To post a picture. But I'm like, girl, if you out here trying to negotiate two to six hundred dollars a piece for a picture, you could get more than that. Well, maybe not you, but people can get more than that. And then it's like, you're not pulling in no money then. Your husband is a plastic surgeon, like a facial plastic surgeon in Atlanta. He not and he telling her you spending too much money. And she not listening. That's all right. When Dr. Karen becomes available, you can just call me Porsche. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, how are you? See, that's how I come from. Do what? We got music and shit on the hood. Where? Put a red tennis. Oh, y'all cooking too? Everything. What y'all was cooking? We got fish and fish. And... Y'all gonna do crawfish before the season is up? Uh -huh. When? Uh, I don't know. It's about to be up. You yeah, can always get crawfish. No, you can't. Crawfish is seasonal. Yeah, no. It's a seasonal food. Fresh crawfish that are live. Yeah, you can't always get that. Mm -mm. Yeah, but you know, it ends next month or the month after. We're going to do everything. Okay. I don't think we're going to do it next week. Uh huh. Yeah, just be out here every Sunday evening. Okay. Maybe one day I'll go. Uh huh. I don't usually come out because I have bad allergies. The whole time I've been sitting out here, I've been sneezing and stuff. Yeah, I, took I did. I took Zyrtec, Flonase, oh, my eye drops. Uh, How am I going to eat? I was eating and stuff, so I was just like, yeah, I'll just rough it. Whatever. I'll be all right. It's not like it's a deathly allergy. I'm tired now. We couldn't even get our tent set up. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I park right here, oh, right up the hill. But she parked far, I think. She parked right here. I don't know where they park. Yeah. I feel like that's the easiest. You gotta pay for parking, but whatever. It's right there. And it's easy for people to find you. Well, yeah, that is something to consider. And we actually went through it. Yeah. Now, that's how we put it. Okay. But, All right. It was good seeing you. I'm lying. I'm just playing. So it's funny. That guy is cousins with this guy you should talk to. And this is big old dogs. Okay. How big they are. It's like a horse. My mama does too. <laughs> now don't be coming for us. Wow. If you are already Well, I might be. That means you don't love me no more. <laughs> Like 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Mama. My mama 52. Yeah. Dang. Looking at me, I can tell by your eyes that you're your mom had a child. Thank you.